Hello, my name is Brenty Georgia, and in this webinar I will be presenting mitochondrial DNA sequence analysis using mutations of error software by Soft Genetics. Mitochondrial sequence data can be difficult to analyze due to the unique genome of mitochondria. Mitochondrial DNA is contained in a separate circular genome, and it has a genetic code with different amino acid codons than the standard genetic code. Mutation Surveyor provides solutions to these issues by utilizing the annotation information within a mitochondrial GenBank file. This accounts for differences in amino acids as well as the origin of replication or D-loop of the circular sequence. By using the appropriate GenBank file, users can analyze mitochondrial sequence data in the same way as nuclear sequence data, taking full advantage of the features and reporting capabilities of Mutation Surveyor. We will begin the webinar by loading mitochondrial sequence files into the program. The process of analyzing mitochondrial sequence files is the same as using nuclear sequence files. The only difference is that you must load a mitochondrial GenBank file into the GenBank pane. Mutation Surveyor offers support for the mitochondrial amino acid translation by scanning the GenBank file for the appropriate translation table. To access the most recent mitochondrial GenBank file on the NCBI website, navigate to their homepage. Select Genomes and Maps on the left of the page, and then select Map Viewer on the right of the page. You can then select the most recent build for your particular organism. A list of chromosomes will appear, and you can select the mitochondrial genome by selecting MT. To navigate to the Downloads page, click on GenBank in the top left corner. If you are unfamiliar with the process of downloading GenBank files from this page, please view the webinar on viewing and downloading GenBank files. If you wish to examine the file to view its translation table, simply open it in the Advanced GBK File Editor. Navigate to the CDS sequence information, and you will see the translation table listed. We can see from this GenBank file that it uses the second translation table corresponding to the mitochondrial genetic code. We can now load the mitochondrial sequence files and adjust the mutation project settings. When your files have been loaded, you can adjust the mutation project settings to default parameters as these will work well for mitochondrial sequence data. After determining the settings, click on the Run button to analyze the data. Mutation Surveyor groups mitochondrial sample files and assembles detected variants into a mutation report in the same way as it does with nuclear sequence data. Variants are detected using the same physical trace-to-trace -trace technology using a comparison of a sample trace to a reference trace. All variants can be viewed in the graphic analysis display in the same way as nuclear DNA. To illustrate how mutation surveyor accounts for the overlapping region of the genome, I'll select a sample trace that spans this region. Mutation surveyor places a purple arrow at the position of the origin of replication. This is between the first and last nucleotides of the GenBank sequence and the nucleotide sequence pane. You can zoom in on the position in the electropherogram window or in the nucleotide sequence pane to get a better view of the overlapping region. We can see in the display that the end of the sequence is numbered at 16,570 and begins with the number 1 at the origin of replication. Mutation surveyor also accounts for the differences in codons in the mitochondrial genetic code. If you select a file spanning a protein coding region, you will notice that the ATG start codon of nuclear DNA is replaced with one of the start codons of the mitochondrial code. In this example, the ATA start codon is displayed. If this sequence data were analyzed with a GenBank file of nuclear DNA, isoleucine would be displayed as the amino acid. Instead, ATA corresponds to methionine and the start codon for mitochondrial DNA. In addition, the AGA and AGG stop codons of the mitochondrial genome are used in mutation surveyor to indicate the end of a coding sequence.
In this sample, the AGA codon is recognized as the stop codon, and it is marked with a red letter X. If this data were analyzed with the standard genetic code, this codon will be displayed as arginine. However, the mitochondrial GenBank file recognizes AGA as the stop codon. This has been a brief webinar on analyzing mitochondrial sequence data using mutation surveyor software. When you are done analyzing your files and the variants have been confirmed, you may use any of the reporting options available in the software. By loading a mitochondrial GenBank file, Mutation Surveyor will display important annotation information such as the correct amino acid codons as well as the origin of replication of the sequence. If you are interested in learning more about other features in Mutation Surveyor, please view our other webinars. For more information or to receive a free 35-day trial of Mutation Surveyor and other soft genetics products, please visit softgenetics.com or send an email to info at softgenetics.com. If you have technical questions about the software, please direct them to tech underscore support at softgenetics.com. Thank you for joining me in this webinar.